Today, we'll be covering a new free-to-play, play-to-earn mobile game. So if you're interested, kung gusto yung malaman itong 3D metaverse na to, you know what to do. Like this video, subscribe, and keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Modern Mulan. Ang project na pag-uusapan natin ngayon is Adroverse. It is a metaverse of heroes. Let me bring you sa kanilang website, which is adroverse.io. We'll be covering kung ano ba tong project na to, yung strong points nila, and what I will be personally doing kung paano ako mag invest sa game na to. So yun, Adroverse, Metaverse of Hero, it's a free-to-play, play-to-earn game. Hindi natin babasahin yung white paper, but I will give you a rundown ng mga things you need to know before you invest in this one. So they do have a trailer, ipapakita ko muna ito sa inyo. Magtatago muna ako, panoorin nyo muna to. And then while you watch, I would love it kung magko-comment kayo what you think of the game so far, your first impressions. Alright, so let's roll the video and then babalikan ko kayo in a while. Alright, I'm back. So, what do you guys think? Nagustuhan nyo ba yung trailer nila? It's actually 3D. And as you can see, dito din sa website nila, yung mga NFTs nila ay sila yung gumawa. Hindi nila binili ito sa mga assets na available na online. So, these were specifically made para sa theme that they had in mind for this NFT game. Gaya rin ng nakita natin sa trailer. So, meron silang storyline, a compelling storyline. But I won't be reading that ngayon. I won't be explaining that muna sa video na to. Pero nakalink naman yan sa ating description box. So, you can easily watch it or read more about it after watching this video. So, yun nga, ito yung mga NFTs natin. And then, you can see uh, yung pangalan nila dito, sa ang planet sila, and then a quick description of them. So, ito yung storyline na binanggit natin kanina. And then, for this one, meron tayong tatlong game modes na pwedeng pagpilian. Starting with Battle Arena. So, yan, Fight for Survival, Adroverse Battle Arena, Multiplayer Mobile Simulation, game implemented into a turn-based strategy. So, mga cards ito, turn-based card po ang laro na to, pero 3D yung mga nakikita natin. Under Battle Arena, so we can build an army. So, gagawa ka ng team mo ng army mo and then you can complete tasks. So, dito rin yung parang mga daily tasks or daily quest. We have PvE, PvP, dito rin yan. Under Battle Arena yung mga yan. So, you have to battle and compete. So, kapag nanalo tayo, of course, magkakaroon tayo ng rewards. So yan, earn free NFT and ADR token. So we'll talk about your ADR token maya-maya, so don't worry. We'll be covering that as well. So aside from Battle Arena, we also have Adroverse Monopoly Arena. So you can build your dream space metropolis. So dahil nga metaverse ito, so we have lands. We're talking about lands. Dito pwede ka mag-build ng space city mo. Ayan. Aside pa dun sa PvP and PvE na nabanggit natin, so you can also protect yung uh, mismong land mo sa kanilang metaverse and then compete with other in a monopoly arena yan earn big free rewards in NFT and ADR tokens so heads up lang no sa mga free to play na to and sa mga free NFT sa na natatanggap natin there is a possibility na maka-earn and i think it's a good starting point especially kung ayaw mo na mag-invest or wala pang pang-invest muna diba napakagandang um, starting point kan yan 
Pero syempre, you have to manage your expectations. Hindi ka naman makaka-earn ng pangmalakihan ng isang bagsakan sa mga ganitong free NFTs, diba? Ipunin mo na lang muna yung mga nakukuha mo rewards sa free and then mag-upgrade ka ng mga NFT in the future. So we'll talk about yung mga NFT sila. More on that maya-maya yung iba-ibang level nila. Okay, so we've mentioned Battle Arena and Adriverse Monopoly Arena. So what's the third gameplay or game mode na pagpipilian natin? Adriverse Galaxy United. So form alliances or mga kakampe to conquer the universe. Play more MMO real-time NFT simulation ng mga games. So ito yung may VR and AR integration. But I think yung mga ganitong klase are far into the future pa siguro. Or hindi natin masabi no, kung agad sila mara-roll out kasi syempre malaking uh, additional investment na naman yung mga VR, AR goggles na gagamitin natin. It's nice to know na ganitong direction din yung pinupuntahan nila kasi I think even Facebook, di ba, meta, ganitong path na yung pinupuntahan. So maybe eto na yung next big thing. So it's nice to know na nasa ano din nila yan, nasa roadmap nila or pinaplano din nila. So yun nga, you can form alliances here and battle and conquer as well. So, earn big together. So, dito hindi na-specify kung mga NFTs or ADR tokens. But I'm guessing na dahil do sa mga nabanggit na dalawang game modes kanina, most likely ganun din yung rewards dito, no? Alright, so as I've mentioned, it's a free-to-play, play-to-earn. So, there are a lot of ways para maka-earn dito. There are a lot of earning pathways. So, number one, syempre pwede ka nga nung maglaro. Number two, alam na natin um, yung pag buy and sell ng NFTs, yung trading sa marketplace. But, you can also earn by short-term farming, by staking and contributing, creating content for them, and then trading and investing yung mismong token nila. Which, again, we'll be talking about maya maya. Under rewards and incentives so na cover na natin to we have yung mga NFT rewards and ADR rewards. Tapos you can also be rewarded with retroactive gacha and airdrops. So ako personally natutuwa ako pag may mga natatanggap akong airdrops. So sometimes I would open my trading accounts tapos may mga random tokens ako nakukuha doon. Kahit wala pa silang value minsan natutuwa talaga ako. Let me know in the comment section kung pareho kayo sa akin kung mahilig din kayo sa mga airdrop airdrop. So yun, anyway going back, meron din silang mga free-to-play nga as we've covered uh, building army and cities. Ayan, may mga training and tasks uh, para may mga uh, rewards sa'yo na kukuha. You can also battle yung PvP, PvE nila, and then yung renting ng army and assets. So what's good about this, yung mga renting system, is that yung kinita mo diretso na na mapupunta sa yung earning. So it's a scholarship program basically, pero nakahati na agal. So set na ng nagpapaupa or nagpapahiram Halimbawa, sabi niya 5% sa'yo. So, automatic na yan. Kapag nag-farm ka, yung 5% na yan, lalabas na sa profile mo. So, I think, mas maganda na yung mga ganito, no? Compared sa mga nauna na games na may scholarship, like Axie Infinity. Di ba yun? Kailangan pa talaga ng manager, and then transfer pa yung assets, etc. So, I think, maganda na renting na yung ginagamit natin na term and um, process for it. So yan, you can rent army and assets with Adriverse. Now let's talk about yung interactive NFT sila or yung NFTs 2.0. So in Adriverse, yung mga NFT nila, aside sa nagagamit natin in-game, they're also interactive. Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi lang yung mga main NFTs or heroes yung focus nila, but also pati yung mga ibang items, equipments, etc. na in the form of cards. So yan, um, magiging interactive din sila or mga gumagalaw sila, mga 3D sila, may object presentation as we can see here. Tapos aside from that, kaya NFT 2.0 kasi pwede mo silang i-level up. So paano ba tayo magle-level up? Halimbawa, meron kang um, dalawa ng same card. Halimbawa, meron kang NFT A, tapos meron ka pang NFT A. Dalawa yan. Pwede mo sila ipagsama, tapos mag-form sila ng isang card, which is higher in level. So, yung mangyayari doon is that, usually, yung mangyayari is, mas hahaba yung lifespan nila. For this particular game, pag pinagsama mo yung mga same NFTs mo, magkakaroon ka ng isa na longer yung lifespan niya. Same ability, same function, pero at least, diba, mas magagamit mo siya ng mas matagal. Speaking of NFTs, meron tayong mga iba-ibang level dito. So, we have level 1 to 5. Level 1 are non-transferable. 
ibig sabihin, hindi natin sila pwedeng ma-trade sa market. So, I'm guessing na ito yung mga entry level na mga NFT. So, ito yung mga mas affordable, mas mura, di ba? Uh, and then, level 2 to 5, ito naman yung mga tradable na sa marketplace. So, pwede nang i-buy and sell ang mga yan. Ang level 5 being the highest level, so yan, may eternal na lifespan. Ibig sabihin, forever na yan, lagi mo magagamit, di ba? So, ito yung mga, syempre, pinakamahal na mga NFTs niyan. So, yung mga level 5. And then, yung mga NFTs sa atin, pwede naman natin i-upgrade yan ng level 5, pero may specified amount or like may specified period of time lang sila until makapag upgrade ng level 5. Eventually, hindi na pwedeng mag-level up. So, ayun din siguro yung magiging advantage ng mga unang makakalaro nito. Then, ayan, you can just read these object presentation, power trains, object data, ayan, interaction engine. So, mga technical aspect lang na mga to, no? So, if you're wondering din pala, ko anong chain magagamit ito. So, it's going to be a cross-chain platform. It's always nice to hear. Magiging available siya on BSC, on Solana. So, they're working on that, on Chainlink. Ganyan. So, comment nyo rin sa baba ko anong um, platform or chain nyo siya gustong may experience or network na gusto nyo siya makita. So, that we can recommend it din sa kanilang mga developers. So, dahil nga bago sila, usually pag bago kasi yung mga games, hands-on pa talaga yung developers at nakikinig talaga sila sa mga members so, so I think this is a good time for you guys to share kung ano yung mga thoughts nyo, ano yung mga recommendations ninyo. Gusto nyo i-add nila, baguhin nila. Kasi ayan talaga yung peak na nakikinig talaga yung mga developers. So feel free to comment all of those sa ating comment section or you can reach out to them sa social sila which we'll talk about maya maya. So yan, aside from the NFTs 2.0, Decentralized MetaFi platform, you guys already know this, I won't go into this anymore. So DeFi space, game applications niya, ayan. And then yung external space na magiging available siya, yung mga decentralized networks and real-world networks. So yan, they will also have Oracle's giveaways. Tapos, eto yung token nila, which we've mentioned earlier. To learn more about their token na ADR, let's jump right in sa kanilang website or sa kanilang white paper with their tokenomics. So ang symbol nga is ADR I'll be putting yung contract address sa ating description box. Ang total token supply nila is 1 billion. And then, ito yung breakdown ng kanilang token allocation with 29% for incentives and ecosystem, the team has 15%. Ayan, so I'm curious to see kung ilan ba yung ano nila, kung ano yung vesting schedule. Ayan, so nakalagay naman. Sa team, nakalock for 12 months, vested for 24 months. Okay, tapos 4.16 released each month. Ayan, so not bad, no? Tagal na rin ng 24 months compared sa may ibang play to earn games na nakikita natin. And then for liquidity staking, marirelease ng 28% sa token generation event. So 1 month nakalock, 18 months vesting for percent each month. So I think it's really good na yung marketing development and foundation reserve dapat lang talaga 0% yan ng TGE. And then ito yung mga lock nila. No? Matagal-tagal din yung mga lock ng token nila which is usually a good thing about a project. So yan. Um, basically, that's what you need to know regarding their tokenomics and their vesting schedule. Um, if you want to learn more about this, pwede yung screenshot nyo kung gusto nyo suriin talaga or you can go dito nga sa white paper nila or sa kanilang website and then check it out for yourself. Now, before we talk about yung kanilang roadmap, team, and partners, let me share with you yung IDO information nila. So, if you're watching this ng February 2022, fresh from upload, then congratulations, may chance kayo mag-participate sa IDO nila. But, if you're watching this at a later time, okay lang din. Just make sure you're subscribed and naka-notify na kayo so that you don't miss any of our future updates. So anyway, ito yung kanilang mga IDO. Tatlo yung IDO platform sila. Ayan. So pang malakasan, we have Trustpad, Safe Launch, and Ben Starter. Lahat ng to ay for February 14, 2022. So kung wala kayong kadates sa araw na yon, don't worry, you can spend it with Adroverse. So ito yung mga dates nila or time, sorry. Uh, we have 11 UTC for Trustpad, 13 UTC for Safe Launch, and then 16 UTC for Bin Starter. If you missed all of that, ililink ko po or ilalagay ko sa ating description box so that you can read through them maya maya. Alright, so let's go back sa kanilang website and then let's check out yung kanilang roadmap. So ito yung roadmap nila. They started noong second quarter ng 2021. So we're now here. 
Yung kanilang beta release is upcoming economical citizen programs, monthly NFT generation events. And then in the future, we can expect more of those monthly NFT generation. Governor beta program, ABA launching campaign, official release ng game then is on the second quarter of 2022, and economical award campaign. Tapos, um, eto may mga tournament din sila. Usually kapag mga metaverse, no, we can also expect mga esports in the future. So most likely, uh, makikita rin natin yan dito or they would likely consider it. No? So sana i-consider nila yan kasi yung mga esports naman talaga yung mga lumalaki. And I think kapag may mga ganong community ka, dahil ang laki ng streaming community, no, napakaganda nun for the game para sa longevity niya sa kanyang lifespan. So, uh, hopefully, consider din nila yung mga ganun. So, yan. Ito yung kanilang roadmap and from what I've researched, on time naman sila. So, wala naman naging delay or naging problem sa kanilang pagtupad or pagsunod ng roadmap. Now, let's go sa kanilang team members and partners. Ito yung core team nila. We have Daniel, Marcos, and Tan. Tapos nakalagay din dito yung kanilang background or yung mga experiences nila. So like this one, yung CTO architect nila, meron siyang 25 plus years sa software development and business management. You can also verify all of this information sa kanilang LinkedIn account. So aside from the core team, meron pa tayong ibang members. So yan, uh, wala lang silang picture but I think it's good na nakalagay bas naman yung main ones nila. Ito nga yung other team members nila. Um, and I think noteworthy din na nasa, ano nga sila, diba? i-release na yung game sa mobile, iOS, and Android. So, napakahirap pagpalist sa mga yun. So, you think it adds credibility din kapag nasa mobile sila, no? Although, don't worry kung sa PC kayo naglalaro, magiging available din siya eventually, no? Pwede tayong maglaro sa web nila. So, yun. So far, that's all you need to know about Adriverse. Kapag meron sila mga updates, if you want future videos regarding this one, sabihan nyo lang din ako sa comment section at gagawin din natin yan. Sana baka pag-participate tayo sa beta test nila, we'll definitely contact yung developers to make that happen because I want to try the game. Ang strategy ko for this one, so nagiging maingat ako, honestly, ngayong bear market or ngayong hindi pa masyado okay yung market, doble ingat tayo kasi maraming mga nagtitake advantage at ayun nga, medyo malabo pa yung market, no? So what I do is conservative muna ako na nag invest So what I'll do for this one is hihintayin ko yung beta test, see if I like it. Kung hindi siguro, if I think na maganda yung magiging development nila in the future sa mga i-announce nila, No, ang gagawin ko na lang siguro is kukuha tayo ng mga NFTs and then i-rent out natin kung personally hindi ko kayang laruin yung game. So I'll let you know, uh, i-update ko kayo, babaltaan ko kayo. I also have a Twitter account now. I'm planning to be active doon. We'll also be creating a Discord account. Kapag available na yan, ipopost ko sa ating Facebook so you guys can join. Kasi mas mabilis mag-update sa mga ganong platforms, diba? Unlike kapag YouTube video, kailangan pa mag-research ng maigi, kailangan pang mag-shoot, edit post, uh, etc. So, I think kapag meron tayo ng mga ganung platforms like Discord nga and Twitter, mas madali tayo makapagkwentuhan and faster yung updates natin. So, watch out for those. In the meantime, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So, dun tayo nag update ngayon. And of course, dito sa YouTube natin. Now, if you want to keep watching crypto-related content, so napakarami nating videos na pwede nyong pagpilian. We have trading videos, NFT later in games, and other other crypto-related videos. Pero kung hindi nyo alam kung saan kayo magsisimula, no, overwhelm kayo sa choices, I've actually chosen two videos for you. Nasa screen nyo ngayon, pili na lang kayo dyan. And I think you'll really learn a lot from them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Sana makakwentuhan ko kayo sa comment section. And I hope to see you on our next videos. Bye!